Hello everyone, we are live from Las Vegas and day one of the Power Platform Conference 2024 just finished. And since I get to attend here in person and I know how important it is to keep up to date, uh, even if you are at home and you couldn't make it, I wanted to do this quick video for you where I share the top announcements for Power Automate and Power Apps and I'll try to do both of them in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. First of all, let's start with some numbers. I know we all love numbers in IT, so the Power Platform now has over 48 million monthly active users, which is 8 million more than last time we shared numbers, which is quite amazing. And uh, to tell you a funny thing from the keynote, Microsoft somehow invented a new unit of measurement, which is a Taylor Swift era tour, which is equivalent to 8 million people. So the Power Platform is now used by six Taylor Swift era tours, and uh, Microsoft Teams has 320 million monthly active users. So I'll let you do the calculation on how many concerts that is. And somehow I'm actually in both those numbers as yes, I am a Swifty. I did go to a concert this year. Okay, so like I said, there was three keynotes, but since this is the Power Platform Conference, let me focus on that one. The keynote was done by Charles Lamana, Business Industry and Copilot CVP at Microsoft. And as usual, Charles opened the keynote by thanking the community. Did you know there are currently over 5.8 million people on the Power Platform community? And the question gets answered every six minutes, which is amazing to see the power of the community in the Power Platform. And if you're not a member of that community, make sure you join it. Now let's talk about features. And let's start with my favorite one, Power Automate. The top announcements are, well, first of all, you can now pin up to two different details for an action or a trigger. And has it ever happened to you that you had to copy paste between actions or you had to copy paste information from the trigger and it's just annoying because you have to open it, close it. Now you can just pin two of them side by side and become more productive quicker. Now you might be wondering, I'm not talking about Copilot? Of course, most of the other announcements were Copilot, so I just had to throw that one in there. Now, talking Copilot for the Power Platform, our first big announcement is Power Automate Desktop. The multimodal recording for Power Automate Desktop is now in public preview. So this means that when you open Power Automate Desktop, you'll be able to not only tell Copilot what you want, but basically kind of like an intern, tell it, hey, you know what? Watch me do it. You click on record and not only you do that action, but you also talk to Copilot. You tell it what it's supposed to do. You explain it to Copilot and then Copilot will build that desktop flow for you. Now I cannot wait to try that in action. I'm sure it will be amazing. Now another AI feature for Power Automate. I'm not sure if any of you have watched my European Power Platform Conference keynote highlights from June of this year. We talked about AI flows. Looks like Microsoft is taking a bit of a different direction with them based on the feedback they got from the private preview. So those will now be rolled into generative actions. What do those do? Well, think of it, you're building a flow, you have a lot of different conditions you want to add, but building that flow, adding those switch statements, those many, many conditions, one next to another, well, your flow can become quite messy. What if you get to the point where you need to add that logic? You add a generative action, you add the knowledge, you tell Copilot what it should do, and at the runtime, it will build the logic, it will add the actions for you based on what you told it to do. That should make flows a lot easier, but let's be honest, I can't tell you will it be good or bad until we try it. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Now let's talk about Power Apps. First Power Apps announcement I'm super excited about is the general availability of co-authoring in Power Apps 
Canvas app. So if you want to work with a colleague, if you want to work with a consultant and you want to work at the same time, you can now do it. You can see where different people are up on the app. You can see the, exactly the component that they're working on and that makes collaboration so much easier. After that, let's talk model-driven apps. Uh, in the keynote, they showed some amazing new co-pilot functionality that helps you find information in your model-driven app. And not only that, if you want to enter data, let's say you have a bunch of text in Outlook, you received an email that is two pages long, it contains the information that you need to enter inside of an app. But it's not like an Excel that you can copy paste, it's free text. And then you have an app with so many different fields, you can just copy the text from Outlook, paste it into your app as free text, and as you paste it, Copilot will understand the text, do some entity extraction from that text and understand what goes where and fill the data for you. Now for the final one, which is the one that I am the most excited about, is the Power Apps Plan Designer. A lot of times we plan a solution before we actually start working on it. So we plan what is our database model gonna look at, what are our personas going to be, how many apps do we need, are they canvas apps, are they model-driven apps, how are people going to interact with them, and we have all of this information before we actually get technical inside Power Apps. Well, now you'll be able to upload all those documents as part of a prompt, and then the Power Apps plan designer will understand them and it will help you create all the different parts of your solution for you. And notice, I'm talking solutions. So not only one app, but multiple apps part of your solution. This is it for this quick video on the top announcements for Power Apps and Power Automate at the Power Platform Community Conference 2024. If you're not here, make sure you join us next year. It has been announced October 28th to October 30th, 2025, still happening in Las Vegas. And as always, if you want to save some money, use code VLAD100 to save when you register. And I hope I'll see you there. Thank you, everyone.